guys welcome to Thai Fly Designs today I'm doing a video that I've been promising for a while and it's it's called my unique storage ideas for a small craft space and mine is very small because it's in my bedroom and I don't have much space to store things so I come up with clever things to help me disguise and put stuff away. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and here we go. So I'm going to start with all my smaller storage ideas first. And this is one of my favorites right here. These are lockables from Craftmates. And there's this, these little um, compartments. Oops, sorry for the glare. It has little compartments that I keep my sequence in. And it has a little tab right here that you press so you can open whatever compartment you want. And once you press whatever compartment you flip open is the one that opens. Everything else stays closed until you actually open it. So that's why I love it so much. My sequins are kept very neat. And I have them divided by color. And I, sh I shared a video of how I stole my sequins before, but these are one of my favorite things in my craft room. So I have like a bunch of them. I'll insert a picture of my drawer, a picture of the drawer with how I have them lined up. And I just stole them like this in the drawer. Um, I have one of the wide Alex units from Ikea. And... I just stack them like this in the drawer and it looks so pretty. That's like one of my favorite drawers to just sit and look at. So that's my first storage idea. My next storage ideas are these Elizabeth Ward and Company um, bead storage solutions. And these are so great. They fit also in my Alex drawer. And since they're so flat, I can stack two on top of each other. I actually have four right here. And I actually saw them at Target online. And you get two two of them for like $57. So it's like each is like $20, $29 or something. But these I actually purchased directly from I forgot the website but I put a link. Try to put a link also. Um I use these for all my embellishments and stuff. See I have brads and uh, um, safety pins, googly eyes, all that good stuff. The bottom one has, let me put this out of the way. Can't believe one person has so many brads, but this one is all brads also. As you can see, ooh, that ring light is crazy. But this is this one comes with the medium boxes, so you get these in different sizes. Like the first one I showed has different size. This one is the large one. So you can you can actually buy the frame and buy the cases you want, but I prefer to buy buy it with the boxes already because then it'll be adding up to a lot. So each yeah, say about thirty dollars each. But these are the big ones. This is the medium. And then, these are the smaller ones, and these I have other brads also, and have them labeled. And then, this one has, what is this called again? Dots. And all the, I can use them for shaker cards or... I can even, I don't know if you guys know what the dots where you you stick them onto your frame or your picture and it creates, creates a picture if you ever use them before. But I, I use them for shaker cards. I also use them, just stick them on cards to add a little bling, a little shine. And so these are the ones with all the mini ones. This one. These are like one of my favorite things in my classroom also. Oop. Next, um, someone had asked me about this before. That's how I came up with the idea of throwing my storage ideas. Uh, um, 
I was doing a video and she saw the way that I had these stored. And I bought these binder rings from Amazon. And since most of our embellishment comes with, like, say, your um, adhesive dots and stuff like that comes on in this, in a plastic storage bag. And it comes with a little thing for you to hang, hang your thing. It will be perfect for you to add a binder ring to it and just have everything all together. So then when you want an embellishment, you just... Flip through, see which one you want, use it, and you don't have to take it off. So I have all of these unbinder rings on my bling and all that stuff. Uh, larger ones. These are very pretty. I think I've gotten these from Joanne's, I think. These are real pretty. So I have all my adhesive dots in sh different shapes and colors and sizes. So, like I said, mind the rings. And when I say inexpensive, I mean inexpensive. So, um, these are all my... I use a lot of alcohol inks lately. And this is all my alcohol blending solutions. And stuff like that. But, the crazy thing is, I use... A toilet tissue roll and it depends on how big you want it actually cover these with washi tape and add a piece of cardstock in the bottom just got a circle and add it in the bottom to be the bottom of the thing and all my little bottles fit in there and this this container you get from Marshalls and TJ Maxx is like every time I go to the store there's I see one of these and I just have them lined up like this. It's all the toilet tissue holders. I just had some, so you can add cardstock to it to make it more heavier, or you can just leave it as is and just cover it with some pretty paper. And this is also in my Alex drawer. One of my Alex drawers just sit like this, and it fits perfectly. And my little thingies are there. I mean, you could just store them in the container itself by itself, but I think these are so cute. So that's one of the ideas that I kind of spruce up myself, but I love I love the idea of this And since I was talking about those containers that I tell you I see at TJ Maxx and Marshalls every time I go there These are also two of them and in there. I have my cut cardstock white black 110 Nina some Nina right here um, my watercolor cardstock and watercolor, other watercolor papers. I have my pre printed ones here also, and these are so cool. And if it your um, a what's that you know, the regular size card, a two size, <laughs> but it fits them perfectly. So I have cardstock that I cut, cut up cut so that they're all ready when I'm ready to do a project. So these little containers are perfect if you see them. They're like, at the time when I bought mine, I think it was like $5.99 or something like that. So I have like a couple of these in my craft room, craft space. So these are perfect for your cardstock. Then these little containers are perfect. They're from Ikea. and I love them. There's a bigger size also that I'm going to show you that I used. This one actually have all my adhesives that I'm currently using, like foam adhesive. All these came from Sizzix, um monthly kit. So that's why you see so many of these. But these are all my um, double-sided double adhesives and stuff. And they fit perfectly in your Alex drawer also. So I have two of them in this drawer with just adhesive. And this is the other one. All adhesives. I don't know if my head went in the way a second ago, but these are all foam adhesives. So cool. And we're gonna put 
these back. So these are great, and these are like two fifty or something each, and they're so sturdy and nice. So, like I said, when you're looking for storage, you don't have to look in the traditional sense of what the storage you're looking for. <clears throat> so, you don't have to always be in the craft section or craft store to get ideas for your storage. So, these are lipstick holders. As you can see, the little Martha Stewart glitter glitters fit in them perfectly. I had these for a couple of years now, a number of years. But, um... Like your little glossy accents and stuff can go in there and just stay like that. Or even your alcohol inks. They don't fit snugly like um, like these little guys. But you can still fit them in there and have them just sit up a little taller. My glossy accent fits perfect if you have these little bottles. And I just throw these in there and they look so pretty. On my desk when I show the other storage I'll show you where I keep them it's on a shelf above my desk and they fit perfectly so these are lipstick holders like I said and I love I love 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 love, love them so I took my camera off of the tripod now <clears throat> so you can see the rest of the storage ideas um, this one is also one of my favorites I'm into planners and planning my day and budget and all that good stuff now so this i actually have two of them here i got these from michael's it was on sale one time and i bought two of them but these are washi washi tape holders and i love i love 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 them and it doesn't even though it's a washi tape holder and i have washi tapes i could have put anything in there i could have put my pens, my markers, all that good stuff. Crazy about these also. Then one of my favorite things that I got from Amazon. This is what I store my alcohol inks in. Check that out. Each, each shelf turns on its own. Isn't that cool? And then it has the top shelf. This was a large one. When I went to check again, they only had this shorter version. I believe the shorter one has only three tiers. But this one comes at one, two, three, four, five tiers. And I fit all my anchor, uh, anchor, <laughs> alcohol inks in them. And I'm so crazy about it. When I got it, I had to. I think this is one of the first things I ever did a review on on Amazon. Isn't that cool? So I got, I even have that space inside for these, like, more wider bottles of alcohol inks. And these fit on the inner side of it. You have storage inside, and then your little bottles fit outside. So, so crazy about this. It's actually meant for those little bottles of that you put in your warmer to freshen up the house. What do you call them? Warmers? You know, the smelly liquid thing. <laughs> yeah, it's actually for that, but alcohol inks fit perfect. Perfectly in them. It's one of, I think, the number one thing in my craft room right now. And I just had a little, a little vase with a pen inside. On top. Because there's a, um, a little hole right there. So you can put something to stand up. So that is my alcohol holder. Alcohol ink holder. And my washi tape holder. Sorry about this little thing right here. It's actually for my, my lighting. My ring light. So it's just hanging there. But I want to share the mope. The Mope um, chest from Ikea. And I actually covered it with some wallpaper from Amazon. I painted it white, covered it with some white 
wallpaper, pattern wallpaper, so pretty. And add some handles also from Amazon. And I have one on the right, my desk, and another one on this side. Sorry, let me get my computer out of the way. Oops. This is the one on the left side. Exactly the same. And these things I've had for years. And at the time when I bought them, I got four pieces in a set for $10. Now, you get one piece, one single piece, for like $12, $15, $17. I'm like, whoa. I wish that when I had saw them for $10 for the set, I had bought everything in the store, but I didn't. So these, I'm going to put a link also to those. They're a little more expensive than $10 for a set, but... And I have six of them on this side, different... These X, X ones has all my um, Copic markers. And then I have six on this side that has ink bags... Super cool. Then while I'm up here, let's talk about the Dollar Tree. Little, I went online and bought bought these from Dollar Tree. I bought two dozens, which is two boxes, two cases. And of course, they came. They just threw the box, just threw it in the. Nothing was wrapped properly, pretty much. So all of most of them, not most, but some of them came cracked. So you see, this is cracked from shipping. All this is cracked from shipping. But I said whatever. And I, these I have. I'm planning to make some pretty paper clips with these flowers. And these are from Michael's. And they're pretty. I want to make some large paper clips. So that when I sell some stuff online, I can put a little gift for someone. But these I store my flowers in them and I have some empty ones at the top but I have one two three four five six seven eight nine of them here and then I also have nine on this side sorry about that stay gone thing so like I said I have flowers stored in them and I haven't I need, sorry I haven't glued them together because that space right there just snuggled, has them snuggled <clears throat> real well. So that was cool. So I got to duplicate. <coughs> Sorry, one second. So I got to duplicate what's on each side one and nine on this side. Okay. This is my little girl, my little friend right there, Corella. <laughs> She's so cute. This is actually a figurine I had bought at on QVC years ago. She's so cute. That's Corella. Um, this organized more compartment um, storage, ink storage thing. I have this one for a lot of years now and it's holding up so well. So if you guys are thinking about trying to organize more stuff, Go ahead and do it. Um, this one is actually a very large one. This one holds 80, I believe. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 16 by 5. 16? 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 by 5, yes, 80. So, and they don't make this size anymore because I checked their website. They make one, I think, has 60. But I've had this for so many years. And right now it's holding my, all the, the ink pads I use most frequently. Like I have Your Art. Then I have Simon Says. So this is one of my favorite things in my craft room also. Storage, 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 and you see it's set back on my desk out of the way. And when I want something, I just grab while I'm sitting here. And like I said, think out of the box. This is a nice 
cute little canister that I got from Marshalls. I think I paid like, whoops, seven ninety nine, and it is so cute. When I saw it, I fell in love with it, and I brought it home, and now it stores my gloves, and it sits in a nice little corner on my desk. And like I said, just look for things that make you happy, makes you smile, and just use it. So I like that. And next thing is are uh, these nail polish holders. They fit my distress sprays perfectly. The big ones and the small micro ones. Isn't that cool? So I have two of them. Because I don't have a lot of sprays. This is all my sprays right here. And I mostly have Halloween colors because you guys know I love Halloween. So, and these I bought from uh, these um, Dilusions. I bought these from Joann's. I think everything here is from Joann's. I only buy when they're on sale though. Sale, sale, sale. But the nail polish holders um, came from Amazon a while back. And I love them. So these sit up on top above right above my corporate markers and the top of that like right above my corporate markers stays right there and when I want some a spray I just grab and keep it moving but like I said I love this idea so that's where my distress inks stays and this is whoop, Sorry about that. This is my setup right here. This is above my desk. I've had that thing, that unit also, one of my favorites from Michaels. Right? Yeah, Michaels. Fits all my distress inks up there. Love, love, love. My pictures that I've had there for a number of years now. My desk. Set up right here. Next thing I want to share is how I store my embossing powders. This is a spice rack, also from Amazon. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. But it's on a lazy Susan, and I have all my my embossing folders labeled. I actually take the label off the front of the container and put it on the top of the cover so that I can see who it's from, what it looks like. Some of my things are falling off. I gotta glue them back. But I actually emboss half of the circle that's on top with the color of the embossing powder. Isn't that cool? I love this idea too. Keeps all that stuff away from you. I'm missing a sticky. I'm gonna have to make another one for that. Um, so this is my spice rack that I use for my embossing powders. One of the next favorite things in my craft room is my Calyx unit. This is the four compartment one and these are all my dyes. I store them in the fridge bins, but these are white. Um, I had bought these at Walmart online, and I can't find them anywhere anymore, the white ones. So I have two of them, two of these. And like I said, these are all my dyes in both of these. On the bottom, I store some um, planner stuff in these. These are the other things from Ikea that I told you I love. The bigger container from the ones I store my glue adhesives in. So this is the bigger version. And I have two of them in the bottom. One has planner supplies, planner books and stuff. And this one has my planner stickers. Love, love, love these containers. And like I said, I'm going to link them at the bottom in my description. So cool.
Another thing I recently bought was this drawer. Isn't that super, super, super cool? I got this on Amazon. Isn't that cool? You stick it um, with double crazy, 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 great adhesive, double-sided, and you stick it on the bottom of your desk. Isn't that cool? And you want something, you just pull it out, get what you need, and push it back in. I was so surprised to find this. I was I never saw it before. And when I saw it and got it, I was like, no. I bought two of these thinking that I could put two, but I realized I have storage under my desk that needs to come out. So I only use it used one of them here at my main desk. And then on my calyx. I add two small ones. So if I pull this out, you see this one has planner stuff. And in this one also, I have some washi um, tools for my planners. Isn't that, aren't they cool? At first I thought the big one would fit in the calyx, but it's a little too wide. So I end up buying two of the smaller ones and add them to my calyx in the corner so it's perfect right there so 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 cool i wanted to show you guys the large container from ikea that i'm talking about isn't that cool it has the little handles and they're so sturdy and nice so these i have a bunch in my house I have in my closets and all that good stuff so these are the containers, and they're perfect in your craft room. They can fit um, paper pads. They can fit even the smaller ones can fit your paper pads. I have some. Oop. If you can see under my desk, I have some one of the big ones right here, and it has all my six by six paper pads. I actually have three of them under here. The space between my desktop and my Alex units. I have three of them, three of this size, under there with all my hip pads. So, you need to try this. Try this one. And every time I go online, it's out of stock. So, whenever I get it in stock, I buy like four or five of them at one time. <laughs> one of my next favorite things is my Rascal cart. And on the bottom, I have these containers also from Ikea. These comes with a cover. I'm going to show you them in a second. Then I have the cover that usually goes on top. I have it on the second shelf instead, and it actually works like that. And I have storage inside of this. And then I have one of those containers right here on the top of that. And if it's perfectly, then on the top I have all my binders because I'm into. Um, cash envelopes now, so I have my binders So I uh, can do my budget and all that good stuff. So all that stuff is on top These are the other containers I love from Ikea um, I can't, I'm not able to get this size anymore in this color or the white but this one has vinyl for my Cricut but and then this is the bigger size to this and it actually fits on top perfectly. If you have some of these, they are great. These, I have a bunch of these also for storage. This one actually has all my bags and stuff that I use to put stuff that I sell. And like I said, you have vinyl in this one. And this one, the color I love, but I can't get it anymore. Not even in the big, big size. But you can get the white one now. And I also love that one. And like I said, I use them to fit perfectly on your rascal cart, in a closet, or, you know, wherever. Love them. These are a great idea. So these are also some of the boxes from Ikea. This one is in the, I think it's mint color. Um, this is the color I was telling you that that they don't have any anymore. I'm not sure if we'll get back in stock, but I have two of the big ones and two of the small ones on top. 
And then I have my Cricut that surprisingly match the boxes <laughs> perfectly. It didn't I w this wasn't planned. I ordered. I had my Cricut for a while, and then I ordered the boxes. Wasn't even paying attention to my Cricut, and they came matching the Cricut. So I just keep my Cricut supplies in these, my vinyls, um, the tools for my Cricut, all that good stuff. Another thing I bought at Ikea that I love is this monitor stand. And it comes with this little drawer. That is so cool. It actually comes with um, the wood color, you know, natural wood in the front. But I actually painted my white to match everything. And my computer sits on there, but this is a monitor stand from Ikea. Another one of my favorite storage units. Another thing I love is this plastic storage unit from Michaels. And the other day they had them on sale for $12.99. I think that's the lowest I've seen them. And it's a large unit and it comes with the little boxes, individual boxes. And I bought the blue so you can match my cricket and stuff. And I just store stickers and you can use it for whatever else you want to store. But it's so cool. You can store them, label them, so you know what's inside. But this pretty much have flowers and stickers. So I love this also. And then you could just close it, put it away somewhere in the corner, and it's great storage. And also, like I said, I think outside the box, these are actually canisters. And it came with a cover. I actually threw the cover out because I didn't need it. But they're cute little canisters that I use to store my Distress Markers and my Distress Crayons. And I think these are so cute. I had gotten these at um, Pier 1 Imports on clearance. And these little boxes, again, are from Ikea. And these are like the small version to the ones I just I showed before. These come with a cover and you can stack them onto each other like that. And I just store little craft supplies like I have embossing plates in here and they can be used for different things. So IKEA and Amazon is the place to be to think outside the box. And these tins I had gotten at Ikea years ago and I also use them for little knickknack storage and these are you were just I believe they were in the kitchen section when I bought them but Ikea has some cute little cans canned can tin <laughs> tin storage little um little storage containers that are perfect for your craft supplies so those I've got years and years ago Love them. Another good idea is if you eat a lot of gums and stuff. This is like the Mentos container. I just use them for little craft storages. And these are some pom poms I have in this one. And this one is not Mentos. I forgot what brand this is, but this actually has my salmon says stamp white embossing powder. And I've had it in there for a while and it keeps it fresh because now it's going to keep whatever you put in there fresh because it's already designed for food. So it's going to keep whatever you put in there fresh also. So I have my white embossing powder in this. And another great idea is keep your, this is a soap dish, and you keep your, um, wipes your wipes that you used to clean your stamps or whatever and I've had this wipe in this soap dish for like two months and it's still wet so that's uh, another great 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 tip and this seals very well so that's why it keeps it actually keeps it more wet than the wipe container that's kind of crazy so 
this is an excellent idea. This is not a, well, it's a storage for your trash, I guess. But this is a, a toilet tissue holder. And instead of using it for that, we're using it as a waste paper basket for your garbage and stuff while you're crafting. And it fits perfectly in the corner there. And this is why I love it because it takes up minimal space. And I love it. That one I also got on Amazon. And then I keep my paper towel sitting on it right under my desk. Next storage idea that I love is this nail polish holder that I have um, adhered to the door, to my closet door. And I keep all my Nova drops on there. As you can see. This is an honorable mention. This is actually a um, gadget that's used for your toothpaste so that you can squeeze out all of your toothpaste out of the tube. Also purchased on Amazon and I use it for my E6000 adhesive. As you can see, it sits in it and you just turn the knob to squeeze it up to the top. So that you can get all your glue out. So I actually use it for my E6000 glue. And it just sits, stands like this. When I use it, I make sure I just clean off the top properly and just cover it back. And as it gets lower and lower, you just roll the little knob on the side and it squeezes out all of your glue. Isn't that cool? It's sort of storage idea, sort of not, but. I thought that was so, so cool. Thinking out of the box again. My favorite thing in the room is this basket system from Ikea that I use to store all my stamp sets. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four baskets. And within the baskets, I have the fridge bins. And these are all my stamps. I'm actually sorting, sorting them right now to see what I'm going to be selling and what I'm going to be keeping. Lawn phone has the most. And that basket system comes with the frame, and then you can buy as many baskets as you want. Um, the, I have two units, and I could have fit... One, two, three basket each, but I only fit two because I have to leave room for the height of the stamp sets. Super cool. So I added as much links at the bottom in my description box so you guys can have the links to most of the stuff that I talked about in the video. Um, I had so, so, so much fun doing this because I love great storage ideas so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i had fun doing it and i hope you love the ideas that i have in my craft room and you'll try some of them so i'll see you guys next time bye